to be or not to be? That is the question. It is, and it's still the question to this very day. In fact, I'm just listening on the news, and uh, to be or not to be is is one of the key issues in this current election sham. Um, yeah, yeah, talking about right to life or abortions, and so this is a song about um, right to life, and it's done by a Rachel Holt. Um, I don't mean to be doing something so charged here politically, but um, I think it's an important topic that we need to not be afraid of and discuss. And um, I don't, uh, frankly, I, I just don't see what everyone is so upset about right now, okay? All the, all the Supreme Court did was put it back in the state's hands. They didn't change anything. They didn't deny anybody any rights. Your state still has the same ability to enact uh, the same laws as Roe v. Wade. It's just a matter of who's going to have to listen to the court cases or what have you. Supreme Court doesn't want to have to handle that on a national basis. They want your local states to deal with it. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't remove or, or, or add any rights whatsoever to anybody. It's just, you know, who's going to have to judiciously deal with the decision makings regard to that? Every state is then up to their own freedom to make the decisions that they want to make. They're not telling you you have to carry a baby you don't want. They're not telling you you can't have an abortion. They're not telling you anything. Your state can then decide, instead of it being a federal law, it's a state law. That's the only change. And for people to get so bent out of shape over this, it just, it just shows the ignorance that we have in America today. It just shows the ignorance because it's just, it's actually beneficial for every young lady to have her own little state, her neighborhood, her community, if you will, be making these decisions. And, you know, if you're in the Bible Belt and those are your beliefs and the beliefs of your family and the way you were raised, you should, then the Bible Belt rules are going to probably stay the same. But if you're, you know, some California liberal Seattle coffee drinking, you know, purple haired person, um, then that state's probably going to keep it the same up there. So, you know, it's what's the problem? Think before you start all this upheaval and burning cities. And I mean, come on. Anyhow, that's my second rant for today. I'm going to try to hold them down. But Rachel Holt is going to do a song called I Was Gonna Be. I Was Gonna Be. So, 144,000 views in a month. That's pretty good. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring a ding a ding a ding the bell, and uh, here we go. Here we go. Where are we going? Here we go. Some don't believe I'm a living soul. to go If my mama could have just seen my face Maybe she would have had me anyway And there are those who speak for me Who fight for lives that they can't see Mine if I were born And 
to start bawling like crazy here uh, the bravery the, the bravery that Rachel Holt has to write this song and put this out is astounding in today's you know culture society she showed great courage in being able to stand up and, and put out a song like that. I was going to be a girl. Yeah, that baby was going to be a girl. And what was it going to be able to do? You know, maybe it was going to be the first president of the United States. Maybe it was going to cure cancer. Maybe it was going to stop a war. <clears throat> wow. I'm all choked up. I'm all choked up. Whew. Okay. I was going to be a girl. Man, I've got granddaughters. I, I, I mean, it just tears me up to think about that. It, it just, it just tears me up. <clears throat> 